गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग यस गुड मॉर्निंग इज एन ऑडिबल सर यस सर Do I'm do I'm audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So good morning, everybody. Um, and what we were discussing in the last class? We're discussing about arrays. Is that right? Okay, so we have discussed about uh, uh, IRS in the IRS. We have discussed. Uh, simple programs. What are the programs we have discussed? Uh, that is uh, printing an array in the reverse order, and some of array, uh, some of array elements, and minimum element and maximum element from the given array. Okay, so we have discussed these things in the last class, and uh, next, so we'll be discussing about, uh, for example, printing even numbers. Okay. Even numbers, odd numbers in an array. So, how to print yeah, even numbers? Explain last program that uh, maximum and minimum of an array. Okay, sir. What we have discussed is that in the last class, is that right? Yes, sir. That maximum and minimum. Okay. So reading you have understood. So so here I wrote the code. In ten minutes, I will inka join out to now. After five minutes, I won't be allowing next time from the next time. Okay. So here, uh, first I've started uh, min variable and max variable. Min equal to a of zero and max equal to a of zero. And for i equal to so i equal to one. रिकार्डिंग ఏం కాదు 5 నిమిషస్ లాగ్ అవుట్ చేసి దాని 5 నిమిషస్ లో చేసేయండి మళ్ళీ మీకు ప్రాబ్లం అవుతుంది మళ్ళీ రికార్డింగ్ అయ్యి లేదని అడిగితే లేదని చెప్తే మనం ఏం చెప్పలేం సారీ గైస్ అండ్ i 1 i 10 అండ్ i ప్లస్ ప్లస్ Yeah, I is less than min. 
and place minimum value that is say yeah for itself is a minimum value this is about this again if yeah i is greater than the max and place that value so this is a code we have discussed in the last what you are what you are doing is like for example uh there are five elements 2 3 uh, 6 and say it is 1 and 5 uh, 4 these are the numbers i have and what i'm doing is first i'm taking a two variables called min variable and another variable called as max variable so min variable i'm taking like first first ever in so I'm, what i'm doing is i'm comparing this variable with this, all the variables to compare with uh, all the variables i should have some some any some value in this here of a value of that so value to be there something in the first itself the first value which is taken itself is a maximum value it is a minimum value i'm thinking in my in my view so therefore i'm, I'm assigning to assign first value how to assign the first value that is the first value itself with a minimum value a of 0 and second uh, next value a of 0 that means what is a of this is a of 0 what is the variable in a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 and a of 5 so these are the variable names so when i say a of 0 is equal to min so that is min equal to a of 0 so what is the a of 0 value two value so now what is the minimum value so minimum value is equal to two. next what is again a of 0 equal to max now what is max value max value is equal to 2 okay so now what i'm doing i'm i'm starting the i value with 1 less than i less than or equal to n so here n value is equal to 6 actually so six elements are there n value is equal to 6 so n value is equal to 6 the so first uh, i equal to 1 so 1 less than One less than six. Yes, it is two. Yes, it is two. So then it goes to the next statement. That is a of five. What is a of five? A of one. I value is equal to one. So this is one less than uh, six. It is two, and this is a of one. I value is equal to one. This word. So here five value is equal to one. Okay, five value is equal to one. So therefore, a of i, a of one. What is a of one value? Three. So three is less than three is less than two. Is it true? Is it true? No, it is not true. No, it is not true. We it, it will not be going to this thing. Next statement. What is this? This is the statement. If a of again i value did it change? It it doesn't change i value. It change double is therefore. A of one again. So A of one is greater than max. What is the max value? Two again. So that is three is greater than two. Is it true? Yes, it is true. So therefore, I am placing A of i value. What is A of i? A of one value. What is A of one value? It is two. I am placing into max. What is the so now max value change? Three. So next. min value is the same but max value is changed now again i have completed all the statements i have completed all the statements i should go to the i plus plus i value increments to 2 so 2 less than 6 s yes, it is true so next it goes to the next statement a of that is a of 2 so less than min value does it min value change no it is not changed so what is a of 2 a of 2 is 6 Six is less than two. Is that true? No, it is not true. So therefore, we'll not be going to this statement. So next, we'll go to the this statement. What is this statement? A of two is greater than three. What is six is greater than three? Is that true? Yes, it is true. Therefore, we we'll go to the what is the statement? This statement. What is the statement? A of two should be stored into A of two value should be stored into max value. What is the A of two value? A of two value. A of two value is the six. So six value should be stored into max. Now max value is updated to six. Six. Okay, done. So we have completed all the statements. Now next. Thank you.
next i value increments to 3 so is it true so 3 is less than or equal to 6 h is true. less than 6 h is true. so what is a of i a of 3 is less than min so what is a of min value 2 it's not changed a of 3 what is a of 3 value 1 1 is less than 2 yes it is true yes it is true then it goes to the next statement what is the statement a of 3 value should be stored into min value what is a of 3 value 1 1 should be stored into min so now update min value to 1 next next statement this is the next statement a of 3 is greater than what is the max value in the updated 6 the last updated value is 6 a of 3 is greater 1 1 greater than 6 is that true no it is not true we are not going to the statement. We have completed the statements and increment i plus plus i value becomes 4. So 4 less than 6. Yes, it is true. So 4 less than 6, it is true. So it, if it is true, they are. 4. What is the A of 4 value? A of 4 value is 5. 5 less than min. What is the min updated min? 1. So 1, 5 less than 1? No, it is not. So we are not going to this time. Next here. Uh, it is again A of 4. So I am writing directly. So A of 5 is greater than 1. What is the last updated max? 6. 5 is greater than 6? No, it is not. Also, it is not. It is also not true. So again, it updates to I value to 5. So 5 is less than 6. Yes, it is true. So if it is true, so true. So therefore, again, what is that value? A of five value four. So directly writing four. A of five values. A of five values is equal to four because A of five values four. four is less than min. What is it updated to one? So is that true? No, it is not. True. Again here. So next, A of uh, this is 5. A of 5 value is 4 and 4 is greater than 6. Uh, last updated value is 6. Is it true? No, it is not true. So it doesn't go to the next step. We have others. I plus plus, I plus plus is 6. So 6 less than 6 falls to come out of the block. So what is the min value? What is the min value and what is the max value? Min value is equal to 1. Max value is equal to 6. What I am doing is nothing I am doing. First, here I am taking the first value itself is a uh, min value and max value. I am thinking the first value itself is a min value and max value. I am going on comparing that element each time and that element with a min value, this element and comparing with a, these two are, oh, sorry. So this is two is, two is less than, uh, so, so that is this value is less than this value. And then the E value and the E value can less the less chip test. If this is less, I'm going to replace that value to this value. So that value with this value. So that is the thing I'm doing. So min value that way. So max value is in the reverse order. So if this is greater, I'm replacing. So min value just now either less side or replace just now. Max value just now greater side or replace just now. That is the difference. So if you want to write separately the proof, we can write separately. So Ryle and Angel again you have to write for loop. In the for loop, you have to write this logic for minimum. And this separately for maximum, you have to write again for loop and separately this logic for maximum value. This is about minimum and maximum. Okay, is it right? Done? Understood? Mardav, Mardav, I already got someone who's asked. Akil, sir. Akil, ah, Akil, sir. Done? Understood or else? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. So, next program is printing even numbers and odd numbers in an array. So, how, how we are going to do that? Only even numbers or odd numbers to be printed. How to do that? So, Normal number is some uh, printing even numbers, odd numbers, even natural numbers, odd natural numbers. I printing to for loop low if statement try Adam. Uh, I percentile to rasa. So you can a of i percentile to rasa equal to equal to zero. It is even number. Print it as even number. And else, else low, odd number print it. And then the for loop low. For i equal to zero, i less than 10, i plus plus. 
and in that we check the condition if a of a of i percentile two equal to equal to zero so even number say it as even number so first changes <coughs> directly separate even number separate odd numbers print chalo and it achieve so here print percentile d slash t if you want to write space slash t a of i so this is even numbers printing even numbers print f even numbers and raso even numbers print f print f odd numbers and jp c uh, again you write a for loop i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and you write here if a of i percentile two is not equal to zero look yes, here write print f Uh, percentile t slash t and yeah so this is a way to print even numbers odd numbers separately okay so why i'm writing separate for loop because i need even numbers separately to be printed odd numbers separately to be printed that's the reason i put it like this okay so how to print even position numbers i'm telling even position numbers that is even position values and odd position values in an array So that that to be done by i percentile two equal to equal to zero. So print a of i. So i percentile two is not equal to zero. E e odd position. I'm telling this is even number odd numbers in array. This one this is a program. So even position odd position is to know the position we are going to go with the i value. To know the value even number value odd number value I'll I'll directly use the a variable name that is a of i. But to know the position, even position, odd position, even what is the meaning meaning of even position, odd position? First is even position. This is second is odd position. This is even position, odd position. This is even position, odd position. Even position, odd position. Alternatively, print that. Okay. So this is about printing a values, even position, printing a, a, a numbers in array, odd values and even values separately. And other program is even position values and odd position values separately. These are two programs. Okay. Next, printing averages like you know how to print sum. So printing averages. Sir, okay. Chipna. Sir, instead of uh, changing uh, in if condition, we can write uh, i is equal to i plus two in for loop uh, for condition only. Allow or ask. Uh, can we delete any number in the uh, sorry? Uh, there is a program called uh, program. So, can we delete any number in the uh, uh, values here? For example, there is a uh, values are five, six, three, two, four, seven. These are the numbers in my array. so i want to delete a particular value here this position how can i can i do that can i do no. that no uh, technically it is no uh, logically we can write but we can make it zero ante em cheyali ante we have to take that from that position up to here we have to print as it is after that position and so when a position is given for i equal to zero i less than the position which is given i less than the position which is given so if at all if i am taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 that in that way so position i plus plus and after that you print the values print the values and after that write again a for loop i equal to start with the position plus 1 plus 1 and i less than 10 i plus plus and print the values remaining values. so we have to write separate for loop separate for loop. and that is one technical way that is like one one way and to delete from the memory to delete from the memory we can do one thing and remember we cannot delete the memory and we cannot we cannot delete the memory which is allocated here okay remember that but we can do one one thing that is for example there is 5 6 3 2 4 7 these are the values which is there for example we can remember what we have to do is after this value position replace this value to here and replace this value to here and print up to here 
So what I'm doing is like in the next array when I'm taking, so like example, I'm like five, six, three, four, seven. We have will remain with one one empty value, but we don't print that up to that. So we print from this zeroth position to n minus n minus one position, this position only. Right. Let's take this n minus two will become normally we'll we'll start with n minus this with n minus one. This will become n minus two. So print up to n minus two. So that is the thing we can do. Or else we can also do this way. So i equal to zero, i less than the position, and that is so to delete the element. Under the position, which a value like one should not be left. Yes. If really want to delete the element, only replace the values here to here. Yes. And for that, what you have to do is first you take this for loop as it is, and the next for loop from the first next for loop, and uh, uh, i equal to zero, i less than this. So i from the position i uh, position, and you replace the values from the uh, values, and you print the values. That. So that is like from the position uh, position i equal to position i less than n i plus plus i plus plus what you have to do is like uh here you have to take two values okay sorry uh, two for the uh, minus h3 the power of minus h3 the the first thousand is one for the first sorry uh, for i equal to uh, position i less than Then I uh, replace a of i yeah i plus one so yeah i plus one I'm doing it yeah that's it after that print the array print the array after that. that is the thing you can do so deleting an element from the array. so that is remove the uh, removing the given position element. Removing the given position element. That is the thing. So that is the logical. But remember, the memory allocation will not be deleted. Once the memory allocation is done, the memory allocation is not deleted. We are what I'm what we are doing is technically we are replacing the value with the after that value. Then there are other values that are replaced as the month. At the end, it will be replaced. That is. That is. Uh, what is the uh, program? What is the program name? Is deleting the deleting the element or removing the element from a specified position in array. Removing the element from the specified position in an array. And to insert insert at a specified position, to insert an element in the specified position, can we do that? Yes, we can do that. Directly the position value. That is, what is the position? You take that position. P O S is equal to the value which you want to position. You want to store that is direct. So if I want to give a position that sorry position, I need the E one one two three. Let's take here. Yeah. P O S minus one equal to the value which you want to insert directly. So yeah, P O S minus one, and that is if I want to replace that is put to thirty. So now it will be replaced with thirty. I'm storing it. That's what is the P O S four? So you four. So yeah, four minus one is equal to thirty. So what is yeah four minus one? This is three. What is this? I have zero, I have one, I have two. This is yeah. So I have three will be replaced. That is insertion. Inserting an element in given given position. Removing we have to do this. Okay. This is the way to do. And maximum I have discussed all the type of program. Uh, if I am discussing, there will be much much. Inka chala usta yare. But in that we have. Uh, Uh, situation. Some of the uh, applications of array we have. So can you repeat that program? I don't understand. Okay. This program. This program. Here I've told. Here I've told two program. One is uh, inserting an element. In a particular position. 
and removing an element from a particular position. So inserting directly, we can insert directly using the direct value. That is, if at all, if I'm giving a position, what is the position you want to insert? So directly write a of b o s minus one is equal to what is the value you want to replace it directly? What is the value replace? It? That is that is the value that is a program logic to be inserted. And removing is done in two ways. Uh, that means uh, we cannot remove the element. Therefore, we can do that in the two ways. First, print the array, array values. Print the array values from that. What is the first position to the? What is the position I given? P O S minus one and I plus plus and print the value. Print percentile T slash T and A of I. And after that, after that, and the remaining values for I equal to position plus one. Sorry, position plus one also. Position this one. Position value should be deleted. So position plus one. Position plus one. So I uh, less than M. I plus plus and print it. Percentile T slash T slash T and yeah, why you can do this? This is one way, and this is one way I'm telling. Only just uh, uh, discarding. That means we are not uh, printing the element which is the position, which is the given position. That is only uh, technically we are not deleting the element. Just we are what we are doing is like. Then compare, compare the Just we are discarding the elements and printing the particular position element. We are printing the R. But another yes, way to do is like another way to do that. Do with that. Uh, if there 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 are elements, for example, I have given this position. And replace the value to this uh, to the previous position. And then the new position will be replaced. This position, the new one, the new one value. That position will be replaced. So that can be done only for first general logic for the given position. The first position position means I from the given position. What is the position which is given? I less than N. I plus plus. And a of i i equal to a of i plus one. So apply what you need. Then tarawa to the value. Then tarawa to the value. Then look at this. Oh, what the value? N work. So you can write here. Here on the value, then that is n values. N new new n values. Mundo mundo values. Look at this. Take the value. For example, take the take the value of the value. Some x value. Some y value. Some z value. If the y value is there, take the value. If z value is there, take the value. Just we are replacing the value. We are replacing from the point. When I am printing the part, I am printing the part from i equal to zero, i less than n minus one, i plus plus, and print a percentile t a of i. This is one other. Understood? Adam, I know. Ever had a question? Ever had a question? Adam, I know. Did Did you understood? Yes, sir. I got it. Sir, is there a way to do this using an if statement? What are you going to do? Like uh, if for special cases like that, uh, if i is equal to position, then we then we should make the loop continue but not execute any code after that continue statement. Yeah, you can do but that is and the question you are thinking in the higher way. Question high way that is yes. correct. That is also okay. You can do that. Yes. Like what is the syntax for? Ah, uh, use the for. However, use the for loop. We have to use for loop. We have to like uh, to like iterate between the array elements. You have to. If statement lo what we what should we write? 
position what is the position you want to replace no 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 not the condition like the uh, code block that executes after the condition is checked same replacement uh, that means we have to replace ante ai equal to ai plus in anta pedda code rasa badli ide better there is a one that value okay Okay, within three minutes we are going to log out. If it is logging out, please log in, log in, log in again with the same. Okay. And these are the programs which is uh, some of the example programs under IS. So and apart from this, uh, we have application software. Areas. As a part of this, we have given a syllabus that is searching and sorting. We have given these two things: a searching and sorting. What is the searching? Is for example, uh, we have hundred of elements, so some some uh, number of elements. From the given elements, how we are going to search? How we are going to search for a particular given element? It it occurs also often that when where it is used is there are uh, a hundred number of files from the given file so where it has been indexed with some uh, some array values so the with the files are indexed with some their names are some files are indexed with some array values uh, like in al some values so we have to pick up the particular value to follow, pick up the file particular file how you are going to search particular file so there are that is searching and to searching search an element or searching in a given file a given thing from a given uh, n number of values so that is called a search and what is my searching is so sorting is making it is increasing increasing order making it decreasing order is called a sorting some sort so that is so either it is increasing order or decreasing order is called as sorting okay searching and sorting so searching is to search for a particular element in n number of elements is called as searching sorting is making the elements either in increasing order or there is decreasing order is called as sorting okay so but we are maximum we deal with increasing order so we are we are not going to deal with sorting however it has been decreasing order or increasing order so we are going to get the elements easily <coughs> what is the need of making increasing order decreasing order so when you make a sorted order it is easy to identify where this where the particular element is there okay so ante uh, for example we go uh, dictionary only dictionary lo oka word kavali and how you going to search you have to directly go and search each and every page no you you see but what is the first letter first the alphabet of the particular word you want and go directly to where the alphabets are start so if that is if the, uh, the dictionary is not in the sorted order how you going to check it is impossible in the that many number of words so if we want to uh, search or searching given element so which is if it is in the sorted order it is easy for us to search and if you make something in the sorted order it is easy to do anything any operation on particular element particular value so that's the reason the sorting is used and where is searching and sorting are the some of the, these are the applications of arrays of type data structure cross matching also sir cross matching also cross matching the so so that so array is one of the data structure so that using this data structure we are going to use this type of uh, type of things searching and sorting in searching in our syllabus uh, actually searching is having only three such maximum like uh, best searches in so i'm telling you about uh searching and sorting so searching is to search for a given element or particular element from the n number of elements from the given n number of elements and sorting is making the elements in the increasing order or decreasing order is called as sorting okay so so what is the use of this searching and sorting uh 
uh, searching and sorting is like these are the applications of the searching and sorting where uh, array is the one of the data structure it is a type of data structure it is a type of data structure you need to make the elements and do the elements in the data structure and in the memory management you say so what is called as data structure what's the management memory management is called as something it is called as data structure data structure structuring your data is called as data structure so whereas array is the one of the data structure used for memory management as a part of that if the array is used in the memory how we are going to use so we are going to use for searching and sorting we have other applications also searching and sorting is one of the two applications so when uh, where array index is given or array elements or numbers are given so uh, where the indexing some files are indexed in the some number of elements if they are if are going to apply the array array application there we are going to apply in search how we are going to search it and if we are going to uh, sort how we are going to sort so these are the things we are going to use there we use there so here the searching to search for elements sorting to uh, make elements in the increasing order decreasing order and this searching in our syllabus in our syllabus searching techniques we have uh, linear search linear search and and binary search apart from these two searches apart from these two searches, searches in the data structure we have a uh, heap search so heap sort is that uh, uh, searching searching name is some okay so but in our syllabus we have linear search and binary search linear search and binary search other name i'm not remembering i'll tell you so later in the class i'll tell you so if i'm getting my mind I'll, i'll be telling you but i'm not getting the exact word of the searching so we have a linear search and binary search in our uh, in our syllabus and the sorting so sorting there are many sorting techniques but in that we have we have a uh, bubble sort and selection sort so apart from this bubble sort selection sort we have n number of sort techniques so there are more than 20 30 sorting techniques we have but so we have in the syllabus bubble sort and selection sort data bubble sort and selection sort so next in the in the syllabus linear search and binary search and searching techniques are very less so they are not more than five searching techniques are there so in that we have in our in our syllabus that is a linear search and binary search linear search and the binary search so we'll see one by one one by one so in detail first uh, we'll discuss about the linear search and after that we go with the, the sorting technique because binary search will deal with the sorting so therefore first we'll discuss what is the searching in the linear search and after that we discuss by bubble sort and selection sort after that we go with the, the binary search The first is a linear search. So linear search is searching the elements linearly, searching the elements linearly. Nothing, nothing more here. Searching the given element uh, from the array. So linearly, one by one element. That is comparing each element in that array. And take aim with so first element and last element. What every element, the high element, the man, cowl's element, the compares to that is the thing we are going to do here. So over here, uh, for example, uh, there is a elements like that so this is 50 and 30 35 90 95 these are the elements we have so if i want to uh -huh. which element 90 i want one the 90 so i'm going to what i'm going to do is compare 90 with 50 is that both are equal no it is not equal. i'm going to increment the loop so this is 90 30 is the both are equal no so increment the loop so 90 with 35 is that both are equal no increment the loop is 90 is equal to 90 yes 90 is equal to 90 therefore so i found the element with the index what is the index i found so this is like uh, a zero one two three i found the element with index three 
with index at the position at three. Or else, if you want to print the position index, you print the index. If you want to print the position i plus one, because so index position is different. Index is different. Index starts from three. Position is we are going to say position first position, second position, third position, fourth position. So three plus one that is we are going to print position. So linearly searching all the elements. What is the linear searching? A linearly searching from starting element to the ending elements, from the start of the element to end of the element, start of the element to end of the element. Each element, each element in the loop uh, array. This is called as a linear search. Until the first element, one cause element A and B. Our elements in, but the okay element to compare just we are going to compare each element from the starting element to end end of the element. From the end of the element, if the element is found in middle, we are going to stop the search. We are going to stop the search. Or else we can continue and we can print that position where the position is. Or else we can go and stop. It. However, we have to stop the uh, stop the searching. We have got the element. We have got the element. So therefore, we are going to stop the search. So we are going to stop the. Sir, uh, what if the element is present multiple times? First time, first value only will be printed. Only first position will be printed. First position only will be printed. will be printed. The linear search itself like that. But if at all if you want to do that, if you want to do that, you store that into another array. So take other array. So where that is array position. Can we return arrays in a function? No, we cannot return. Uh, like uh, if you want to return like. Uh, All of them return chain value. Most of them return chain. But first, only position we can return. First position. After that, we can uh, using that point. We can uh, like we can return the position. From that position, we can go on take other other values. All of these push. But whole array most of return chain. But we can send the values. That is, we can send as an arguments. Array most of the arguments like a compute. We can send the, all the input to function as an arg. But we cannot get the return return value. We can get only return value of position. We can get so that pointer. We can we, we can get the pointer using that pointer. We can do that. So after doing after getting that position. So, so we have position. to declare the uh, array globally. Global we have to declare. Global declare just one. That was that. If we declare in the function, we can't return the pointer. We can we can't return the pointer. Okay, so that is about that. So, but for the first, for the first, don't go with the uh, if we whether we have a multiple values or not, multiple values of same value. Just think in terms of which value, first value, which are going to search the first occurrence of the given element. What is the element you want to find? What is the first occurrence? So we you can write break after finding yes, the first one. After finding the first, we can write a break. So that is the thing we can do. Or else we can do in the reverse condition. And then the elaborate uh, earlier uh, condition while loop as condition while loop as if the the value which is not uh, first start with i equal to one i equal to zero sorry and you take that value which is the value you want to search. So for example, search element is s. Z is not equal to is not equal to not equal to uh, the given element which is the a of a of i. I'm going to increment the i plus plus. That means what happens? It's going to stop that. It's going to stop that if the both are equal. Equal and they both they stop by both. Stop by that i value. My case for i value for i both. So i value will not be incremented. Therefore, I can say that element is found. I can say that element is found. This is the one thing. And reverse right writing the reverse logic. Logic the reverse the right. Other ways like you write a for loop. That is i equal to to zero. I less than uh, n. I plus plus. And if that is the element. What is the s? What is the search element? S equal to equal to a of i. A of i. Write a break. So it will be breaked out. So I value you can print I value. What is the position? So it can be all as simple code. So until the reverse ride, until logically reverse ride, it is a simple code for two lines like that. It is a directly logic. Until the, what we are discussing, until the aim discussed is the logic. Are they logic or are they not? What is the thing we have discussed? What is the technicality we have discussed here? 
if you want to write into code we are going to write this way or else you can write that logic same logic by changing it this way then the for example you start i value is 0 okay s yes, for example you want to element is 90 is not equal to 90 is not equal to the a of i a of 0 a of 0 is 50 90 is not equal to 50. therefore increment i plus plus again i value will be incremented so again if it is i value incremented 90 is not equal to oh, 30 s yes, is not equal to 30 Again, next element. So increment i value. I value is again. Uh, it is three. Uh, sorry, i value is two. So therefore, thirty five. Ninety is not equal to thirty five. Yes, it is two. I value increments. Again, ninety is equal to ninety. So same position. Take it on to the three. I value is three. On to the ninety is not. Ninety is not equal to ninety. It's false. Take it on to the byte value. Then what is the i value? We have stopped there. Three. Therefore, position we have to give. This is one way, and this is other way. So this is the. Same technicality what we have discussed as it is, and this is different. That's the only. This this is writing the logic in the reverse order, writing this logic in the normal. What is the technicality we have discussed? This is the difference. Okay, so how to write the program? So program is like this. Read the array. So that is. So I'm reading array int. Yeah, you can take. So if you name rather name regular way or ask me, that is traditional way I'm writing. You want to declare later in the program. You want to take any value. This one, that was a A of N plus N. That last one, that is not nothing problem. But go with the traditional way. I'm going with the traditional. Way. So A of I and N I. Or S is also. So what is the S such element? Or else such. You wish. At the last one, that that last one. Let me search and ask under S and ask under value one, ask under X and ask under you want X and ask under list. You take which value you want to search. Okay, have that. So, print it. Enter. Size up array. Scan it. Person directly ampersand. Yeah. So I'm I've read the values into the size into. So next print it. Enter. Array values. For i equal to zero, i less than i less than n, i plus plus. Scan up, percent already, and percent yeah, yeah, okay. Next, I read the values. I pen kadam i values. I pen. If you need any a value, which value to be found? Find in the uh, search. So what is print up? Enter value to search. Enter value to search. Scan it. Percent already. So if I'm taking x, I'm pressing x. So close done. You put our you put our logic normal logic. Now write the logic which which logic you want. So now you put two logics last one. We a logic I want a logic last one. For i equal to zero. I less than n, I sorry, I plus plus. If x equal to equal to a of i, print. So print it. The element. सर इक एलिमेंट फॉर्म का मैं लाजिक दिश करेक्ट जीरो सो इकड़े एलिमेंट इज फाउंड एंड चेंजिंग फ्लैग वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन एंड ब्रेक ओके 
if fly equal to equal to one, fly equal to equal to one, print f the element found at position. You want to print a position of source entirety i plus one. Else, sorry, print f. Sorry, the element is not. Is not found. In the reality, why we have to write? For example, in the reality case, only success ke rasa. I wrote the logic. I wrote. I have told you about a success. For example, there is number three, five, ten, twelve, uh, uh, six, seven, nine. So I want to find the element. For example, fifteen. So fifteen with three compared. No. Five compared. No. Compared. No. Compared. No. Compared. No. Compared no, compared no. So the element is not found. Is it good to check all of it? We have to tell the user whether the element is also not found. And the key in case I know what we have done is first I've started flag and it took up a flag and even took up some telling it is true or false and the reason to recollect some it is a some variable to tell. So we are regularly using the flag is a word. Whether it is given element is found or not, all 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 element post all anti variable post flag and variable what? Okay, na? okay. So that is the good flag. So what I have done is if the element what is the element I want both is found. I am replacing. I am making it is flag equal to one. That means I want I found that element. Break. Okay, okay. Case if it is the case fifteen is equal to is equal to all the elements are checking. It is not true. And if they want will they, will I go into the flag equal to one? No, I will not go and I will not. Breaking, so it will be completing the loop. Totally, we are completing the loop. We are coming out. The flag will not be updated to one. So therefore, so we are saying sorry, the element is not. This is to say it is in the reverse. Like, understand? The Adi found unsuccess in a put put up one. This is a valid chappal kaab. We have to tell something whether it has been success or unsuccess. Both we are telling. This is the last. Okay. So after this, if at all if you want to like. So after the reading the elements, you can write other way. So that is i equal to zero until as i equal to zero. Why? Uh, a of i not equal to x i plus plus. Then if we check this, then how we are going to check whether here? If i is less than or less than n, then position is found. That print up the element is found at the position some position. And then we are not crossing up to n. N were we lay on the we have we have bent up to n and n t. That means we have crossed all the elements. So that means, for example. So zero, one, two, three, four. So there are five elements in my array. So first I'll check with this. I value will be incremented. 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 After that, I value increment time. There are other things. After incrementing, I value we are coming out of the block. Understand? So therefore, therefore, so that is we are going to check whether I value is equal to that. This. Okay. Sorry. Here we have to check the other condition. I less than or I less than n. So both are true. So that so we have to check that the condition. So both the two conditions are in the either are in the. This is another way to so after that print the values. Else. Element is not found. You can go with this logic, or you can go with this logic. You can go with this logic, or you can go with this logic. Which is which logic is easy for you? You can write any logic. Okay, na? and this is writing a normally. If you want to write a function, so we have to implement this in the using function also. So, as functional library, we tell, we will go and write that. Right. 
Okay, so this is the normal way to write the program. If you want to implement the same program in the function, you can implement the program in the function. So what you're going to do is we are going to write the function. Okay. So same thing you have to write in the recursive also because whether it is like a uh, repeated uh, set of things. So if it is a recursive uh, iterative, iterative thing, we can implement this in the recursive way. Recursive way also. Then as recursive way, I'm going to mention and subtract. If you, if you can do that, you can do that. I'll, I'll tell you in the next class. Okay. This is the logic about Sir, I have a doubt. Chip, man. Sir. Sir, in that uh, program, how break will prevent uh, I from incrementing, sir? Like the for loop will will continue, right? Up to n. No, will not be continued. If this is true, if I'm writing a break, the loop totally will be break. What is the use of break? Break will be used only inside a loop. It is not used any. So we are going to use inside a loop. It will break out of the loop. Mottam loop mottam break just like terminates unconditionally terminates the total loop. That's the reason we are going to write a break. So break of kasar achindi ante loop mottam a terminate just like. So when this is true, so either na ko statement ano kundaman. For example, here in the situation, I want the element which is I want the element. Uh, here I want the element 10 and 10 ticket such as that because such as in that when I searched it so here when it will be true so I value 0 1 sorry, 0 1 2 so when I value is 2 so that means uh, 2 less than this is 1 1 2 3 4 5 sorry, 0 1 2 5 6 7 7 elements are there 2 less than 7 as it is true so now I'm going to search for element 10 is equal to equal to 10. So what is the 10 here with psi value here? I value is 2. So after that, flag equal to, so this is true. If this is true, we'll go here, flag equal to 1. Flag will be updated to 1. Break. When I when I encounter a break, it will be breaked out of unconditionally. We encountered the break, then we come out of the block and break. So now what is I value? So I value is 2. So now flash equal to S flag equal to 1, S is flag equal to 1. So therefore, the element is found at the position I plus 1, 2 plus 1. What is 2 plus 1? 3. So is that position 3? S. Yes. First position, second position, third position. Is that position is 3? Yes. Third position. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Any doubts up to you? I'm stopping the share. Sir, one show the next page. Sir. sir, this is not A, this is N. Sir, one minute, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, everyone, give your opinion. Uh, response to your opinion. 71. Present, sir. 72. Present, sir. 73. 74. 74. Present, sir. 75. Please be present, speak. sir. 76. Present, sir. 70, 77. 78. Present, sir. 79. Present, sir. 80. Present, sir. 81. Okay. 82. Present, sir. 83. Present, sir. 84. Present, sir. 85. Present, sir. 86. Present, 80, sir. 87. Present, sir. 88. Present, sir. 89. Present, sir. 90. Present, sir. 91. Present, sir. 92. 92. 93. Present, sir. 94. Present, sir. 95. Present, sir. 
Present, sir. 138. Present, sir. 132. Present, sir. 133. Present, sir. Okay. So, any doubts? If you have doubts, you can be here. If you don't have any doubts, you can leave. 